Hey there Titans! In this video we will talk about the collaborator licenses. So I'll show you how we can add collaborators to your account. Just um, one note, um, collaborators are an added feature that you will need to have an additional license for. So once you get that, um, you'll be able to add collaborators to your account. So what the collaborator uh, account does um, we have two types of collaborators. So the first one is just for edit, uh, read or write. You can give both. And the second one is a creator as well. So once you give a creator a license, the creator collaborator will be able to create new forms, but the forms will go to the parent account. So if I added a collaborator here, so let's say collaborator editor at formtitan.com, and I gave them the create option then whenever it creates um, a form then it will go to my main account so let's see how we can get this done so you will just go ahead and add a collaborator put an email in etc and this instance I've already added a collaborator and let's see the options that I have here so once I've added a collaborator we can select which forms we want to give the collaborator access to. So let's say we'll give them that. And you can see there is an allow create here. For now, I'll leave that um, unchecked. I'll click update. Now I'm going to log into my collaborator. Now notice what will happen. So this, the reason that I get this pop-up here, um, it's saying here that my email is associated with a few collaborators. So that basically gives you the ability to share from multiple environments to one collaborator. And once the collaborator signs in, then FormTitan asks the collaborator which environment do you want to work on. So we can see that this collaborator account is a creator and this one is just an editor which is my account right now that I set it up. If I'll click sign in and I'll do open, then I can see my whatever was shared with me. So, and here you can also see the permissions. So this is read, write, read, write, and read, write. If I'll head back to my collaborator and add a permission and give him, for example, this guy just for read, and click update and I'll click file open again <clears throat> we can see this guy over here with just read permissions so if you have write permissions then I can just go ahead and add information to this form add logic add elements whatever added this form and it will be saved on the originating account now let's take a look at the creator option. So if I'll edit the permission again and hit next and I'll say allow create and I'll head over to my form titan and do new and I'm just going to throw something in Let's say a text box, and I'll give this a name. I'll give the form a name, and I'll say and save the form. <clears throat> what will happen is, if I'll head to my to my forms. and search for the created form we can see that we have the created form here what the collaborator created one thing to notice is that once the collaborator created the form then he won't be able to access it because he will need permissions for that form so once here once we created it we can see the form here and I'm just going to head back to my main account
take a look at the permissions. So we can see that the collaborator got automatically the permissions of read, write, and delete. And obviously we can get rid of these and give him just read after he's done with um, after he's done with building the form we have complete control over the forms that he worked on or created and this is how it's done